welcome back to my channel um, of course at the ranch here in Florida in Orlando area um, and kind of wanted to do a little bit more in-depth um, talk about the truck uh, the tow truck um, I know some people might be interested in that side of things um, I'm an automotive guy I like motorcycles anything with wheels and motors cars doesn't matter so uh, it's another one of my interests so I'll go over that real quick nothing too crazy uh, I'll probably just do a crank up video also so you can hear it because it's pretty gnarly sounding quick walk around don't mind it it's dirty uh, it gets used so um, I do need to wash it though it's white and shows dirt pretty pretty badly but it is 2009 like I stated before um, it's a single cab dually long bed four-wheel drive uh, Cummins diesel um, you don't really see single cab dualies very often um, so it's somewhat rare it was something I was looking for and was lucky enough to find but what makes this truck actually kind of cool too is one it's a 6.7 Cummins which is rad but it's also a six-speed manual um, with power everything but rubber floors which is what I wanted I want a truck you can get in and out of I don't want a luxury truck that's not what I'm looking for um, I want to get in it dirty, do stuff, not care about it, be able to clean it out easy. Um, but this truck, in my opinion, is kind of like the perfect truck. Um, if I wanted a four-door truck, I mean, I don't know. It's just not my thing. But also, like I said, it's four-wheel drive. I uh, have a small leveling kit on it on the front um, to run the 35-inch Toyos. They're 35 by 12 and a half on a 17-inch rim. Um, nothing too crazy, but just nice setup. Um, otherwise, the truck's fairly stock. It has like, I don't know, smoked lens on the on the chicken lights, which is, we call those lights on the top, um, here in Florida at least, um, the cab lights, whatever. But nothing too crazy done to it um, as far as exterior goes. Just a simple truck. Now I will get into some of the meaty bits. Um, Pretty simple interior, it's tan. Um, honestly, the only thing I probably would have changed was if I could have had a black interior. Um, I have black seat covers on it, um, just to kind of protect that. But otherwise, everything is pretty much perfect to me. As you can see, the stick shift there. Um, I put in a little subwoofer. It already had a Pioneer head unit, Bluetooth unit or whatever, and it has all aftermarket speakers in it. So the system's actually not that bad. I, I did like the under seat kicker. I think it's like an eight inch little sub. It's actually not bad um, for such a small cab. It actually works pretty well. All right, so to get into, I guess the important part of this truck, which is the 6.7 liter Cummins. As you can see here, it has a throttle uh, valve delete um, that I put on it. When I got the truck, it already had the SMB intake. It has the um, different manifold so I can run uh, Borg Warner Turbo, uh, which is the um, industrial injection um, fat shaft silver bullet. It is a 6480. Um, is the turbo size that they have a couple different options. That's one of the. I guess I think that's like the mid range um, or smaller for the for the 6.7. But it spools fast and it's got plenty of power for what I need. It also has a the uh, I think it's ECU live tune on it, custom tune. Everything else is pretty much stock um, in that respect, except for it's a straight pipe all the way back, big down pipe. Um, the he had a massive like I don't even know like 10 inch. I don't know, it might even been bigger than that. Freaking exhaust tip on it. I cut that off. It's actually an axle dump um, or back axle dump now just points straight to the ground helps actually a little bit kill the the loudness um, but yeah I don't know if you'll be able to see it I can see if I can get in there the turbo is there um, it's actually really pretty rad it's basically a Borg Warner I want to say it's like an SXE 300 series turbo um, but what they do is they port the housings um, they polish them or polish the front one um, but everything's ported the wastegate actuator and all that's upgraded and then they port where the, uh, the actual actuator is so that, that it doesn't get any boost creep um, or any issues with that. And it, then, it, then it has a billet um, 
wheel on it. Um, I forget how many blade it is, but way better, way higher quality. Um, the turbo's awesome, to be honest. Um, and the best part is it just sounds rad. So I guess what I'll do is do like a little crank up. Um, I think the other thing I forgot to say is that it has the twin plate clutch. Um, I think it's a South Bend. It's loud. It chatters like crazy, but I don't care. It's a big truck. It's bad. It has all kinds of noise. Is, and in my opinion, it makes all the right noises. driving experience in this truck um, sorry if it vibrates a lot or if the noise sucks um, I, <laughs> I guess I need to figure out a way to do my external mic um, in here or in a car um, I'll find something but anyway um, phone's just sitting on a mount right now that's that's the other thing um, trucks not super fast uh, that's not the point of this thing. It could be if I really wanted to, it could get turned up and be ridiculous and break things and destroy clutches. Um, even though supposedly these South Bend uh, twin plates are like indestructible. Um, but that's not the point of this truck. Um, sorry, I'm about to go over the cattle guard. So it's gonna be like bumpy. Yep, just like that. Um, so, I'm gonna try and give you like a sound. I don't know how, how it's gonna read inside of the cab with wind noise. But let's see if you can hear the turbo and exhaust and whatnot. Uh, that's kind of the best part of the truck, once turbo. So, here we go. Um, in second gear, first gear is granny. Like I said in the first video too, um, not really any more plans for the truck um, as far as mods go. There's really not anything I want to do to it. Um, its purpose is going to be, one, it's my daily um, for the most part, and two, uh, to tow that car. So um, it can do all those things good, and that's where I want to leave it. Um, if anything, maybe like wrap or paint at some point, um, but I kind of plan on keeping this truck for a long time. It's a Cummins, it'll last forever. Um, kind of always wanted uh, one of these with a manual, and now I have it. So yeah, um, that's it for the truck. Uh, if anything ever changes, I guess I could do another video on it or if anybody has questions. Um, I think maybe, maybe way down the road. Um, not sure if that's gonna happen. Uh, I'd like to do maybe a compound turbo setup, which would be pretty rad. Um, basically just adding another bigger turbo on top of the one that's already on there, um, which um, Industrial Injection makes, which is actually pretty rad, um, which could be like just ridiculous power, but the truck just doesn't need it.